Now, on your own, you're going to listen to and follow along with the read aloud of A Dream Deferred. You can use the clip that's located in your lesson post for today. During the reading, you will need to annotate the text for figurative language. You will need to use the annotation reference guide also posted in today's lesson. As you read the text again, I want you to consider the reading focus. Look for figurative language used throughout the text. Also, as you work through this activity, I want you to think about the following. What images stand out and create vivid pictures or evoke strong feelings? What comparative devices, metaphors, similes, and analogies has the author used? Why? Is there a symbolic level of meaning? If so, how has the author developed symbolism? Is irony present in the language, events, or characterization of the work? If so, what are the effects of its ironic elements? How has the author used other literary language devices, such as rhyme, rhythm, alliteration, onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia etc., in the work? You will have five minutes to complete this activity. Now you're going to review A Dream Deferred and evaluate the effects of the text. To do so, you are going to locate and highlight or mark details, ideas, and elements that show similes and metaphors. Then you will identify how these contribute to the symbolism and theme in the text. You will also need to develop a response to the questions posted. How do the details, ideas, and elements contribute to the theme and symbolism within the poem? What are the effects? As you work through this activity, I want you to think about the following. Which words or phrases stand out as powerful or important? What does the language cause you to see or feel? Which words, phrases, or sentences are used, used or stru sentence structures are repeated? Why? How do the author's word choices develop tone, mood, and or meaning? How do the author's language choices indicate his or her perspective? You will have five minutes to highlight and mark the poem, and then you'll have five minutes to answer the questions in Nearpod.